That's just like the wayside. There's a lot of side, right? That's why people like uh, falling onto it. Uh, I'm on the wayside, right? They like to be on the side of the way because nobody wants to actually walk on the way because the way, the narrow is the way that leads to uh, uh, righteousness, right? I mean, we like being on the side of the way, the wayside. So just like the wayside has a lot of way, the 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 the, 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 the overside cross over to the or the other side. What's the other? I said, God, what does the other look like for me? Does it look like a, a other situation? Does it look like another situation? Does it look like my brother being in the same situation that I am in me, praying him through that? What does the other side look like for me? And crossing over, what is that indicative of? Is that indicative of me praying uh, my way through uh, this situation? Because I already know how not to see myself in the sea of the sea sun or the sun of the sea sun. I'm trying to see myself in you, God. Uh, so I'm praying my way through this thing. Right? But, uh, come on, uh, if any of them had common sense, none of them would have gotten in that boat. All of them when I've walked over. Two! <laughs> well, I'm saying right now because there were four fishermen, right? And these men had jobs. Like, there were, there were jobs. They're like, that, that was a job. Like, do it like, do, do it like you, that's your job. Right? They did it like that was their job. It was four men, four fishermen on that boat. Peter, James, Andrew, and John. They were top dogs. And I believe they were top dogs because of that. They, they were fishermen because he was planning to make them fisher of men, not just fishermen. So it works, right? So the four top dogs on the boat were fishermen. And then a whole bunch of them, they had math and a whole bunch of calculations. They could make some calculations, right? They could have done this thing, right? If they really wanted to, if they had gotten themselves together with a boat right now, the picture of the church, we can't get ourselves together, right, to, to do anything. And we're lying and we're blaming people, our lies on people, right? When we get scared and we get scared that we've been caught, so we're blaming our I saw lies of other people. I said, but do you realize that in front of you, I texted every text that I sent to her, to you, and do you realize that I accused her of what I told you guys that she did? You went to her, and she said, oh no, I did not do it. If that was the case, she would have stood up for herself. She would have said it on the text. Why are you accusing me of doing this thing, Jamie? I did not do it. I was just talking to my husband. But she didn't. Don't you realize, uh, oh, they are serious. They are coming to me, asking me some questions. Uh, I have to keep this position, right, so I can go, go and attack uh, and be on attack with more people. And I can, uh, I can attack more people that, are lo- that I see as a lower than me. This is my sea. And whether you have a sea, sun, or a sea, right, everybody has their own sea, right, don't they? But in your sea, you always have a sun in it. You always have a sun. What was the son in her sea? Was the ability to abuse me? That's been people's, a lot of people's sons in their sea. I said, you know, God, what I want my son to be, when my kabada say I want my son to be you, right? Let's fix this thing. That was my comment. Let's fix this thing. Let's amend. Let's amend. Let's make it a new amendment. No, she cannot ever come to my house again. No, right? I don't want her really saying much to me by herself, right? Come with two or three witnesses, right? But here's the thing, because even with me texting and texting to both her and the pastor, like the Bible says, I am still seen as an out of touch person so that's okay let's amend this thing amending means we tie this thing together it's not stopped and it's not uh, burnt off it's not carterized it's not completely done right but for us uh, for all intents and purposes it is it's uh, done until we get to heaven i was uh, done until we both hear well done thou good and faithful servant uh, right uh, but as far as i'm concerned right uh, it's amended right uh, because i want to be able to come back and look at you like jesus looked at peter like aha when the next thing happens uh, because i know things that are going on in seminar house that i'm not supposed to Know about I'm not supposed to know about that. But I want peace. And what good is a church if there are not sinners there? If that person doesn't feel comfortable coming to church, if I don't feel comfortable coming to church without after I messed up, I messed up so many times. And I want to practice getting given grace, honestly. I like that when people give grace to me. But grace comes at different levels. You can have grace that says, okay, I forgive you, I love you, right? And this, we are done with this particular thing. You can have grace that says, I forgive you and I love you, but please let's keep our communication at a low right now. And you have grace that says, I forgive you and I love you, but please never speak to me again. It is done in discernment, it's done with grace. 
I bring it up because I want you to understand. I, you are not the only one that goes through things. I do. So I bring it up. Because the church, they're going in every direction. If the boat, if you've ever studied um, physics, uh, physics 3, um, there's a term that you learn, centripetal force and acceleration. If you look at your washing machine, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. If you open up the top lid of your washing machine, I'll give you some seconds to get there if you're going. When you put clothes in, have you ever opened up the, 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 the top lid and, and looked at what it looks like while spinning? I'm crazy, so I like to do stuff like that. I'm doing stuff like that since I was a kid. That was fun for me, right? So if you open it up, right, the center, the, the, the center is spinning. But the only thing, because the clothes are at the, of the edge, right, of the washer. They line the washer because the force of the, the, the spinning uh, thing in the center is so high. What you need to understand, what you need to know, if you remove the factor of having the actual box of the washer, the actual body of the washer, the actual um, um, the machinery of the washer, you just have the spinning and the clothes, your clothes would fly off, fly away in every direction. And we're talking, I'm talking, like every direction. They call them tangential lines. They would fly off in every direction. And of course, there are formulas to calculate um, how fast they would go or what would happen because they'll pick up the speed. They would not lose the energy behind the spinning mechanism inside the washer but it would pick up the speed but the speed would also always be less than and taper off than where it was when they started my speed was fast I was going hard I was like yes I'm glad I'm not good God at the beginning here help me God I'm going to keep going yay uh, I'm not going to end this year the way I started and then you are running well mother Bullock used to say you are running well who hindered you. My God, it will be none of you. I promise you. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you not have it be any of you. So you have a boat of twelve men, and everybody thinks they know what they're doing. Could have been a washing machine type situation where everybody's flying off in different directions. I mean, once Jesus came, he stood there and watched them for a watch. When Jesus came up to the boat, John and Peter were saying two totally different things. John said, if we had not called out to him, he would not have stopped. Peter said, if it be you, Lord, bid me. So you got a bid hang match going on on one side. And then you got, once they realized, because they didn't even think it was Jesus at first, they came together in their doubt. We always do. We come together in our doubt. Is that an apparition? Is that an appearance? We're always getting apparitions and appearances of the wrong things. Things are appearing to us. And the angel of light appeared to me. If he appeared to you, then you looking at the wrong thing. Because he's not on my level. He's beneath me. So he can't appear to me. In order for you to appear to me, you gotta be on my eye level. They said it's an apparition. <laughs> apparition is another isn't a root of appearance or it can be rooted to appearance. If that's the case, what is appearing before you? My contention is there were. They're flying all over the boat. One wants to row. One wants to just swim. One wants to pull the boat. One wants to pull the boat ashore. Or we could just walk that in. I ever guys got an opinion. But the only thing that they agreed on was their doubt. When Jesus walked up to the boat, they said, Is that an apparition? He said, Be not afraid. It is I. He knew their fear. Is that an apparition? They asked out loud, Is that an apparition? Right? And Jesus responded with an answer to soothe their fear. Be not afraid. It is I. <laughs> so if they realized that it was not an apparition, they went back to what they were doing before, right? Arguing, uh, we should do this, uh, we should do that. Uh, the church wants to do this, the church wants to build this way, the church wants to walk up the stairs, the church wants to go down the stairs. The church thinks that he should start preaching on the roof. You should start preaching in the grass. The grass is cruddy. You need to preach on top of the grass. Hopefully it'll turn green again. We want to do this. We want to invite a rat to come to speak at our church. We would like to have this rat to come on. Everybody's got an opinion. And none of it makes any sense. The people, the, 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 the best opinions come from the people that are not talking. <laughs> the story is true. So I guess I'm not talking then because it is true. The church is 
flying off in every direction inside of the boat. Some of us are flying off in every direction inside the house of the faith. Inside the house. You're flying off in every direction inside the house. Imagine getting ready for a party. We're getting ready for a party. We got people coming, right? And everybody's running around in opposite directions, going, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that. Everybody has a list of in their head of what they are going to do. Nobody is organized. So you know what happens? Nothing happens. Because nothing nothing is done. The biggest uh, hindrance that the, the, the enemy has against the church is hindrance. The church came together to try to build a tower, didn't they? They want a tower, build a tower, we coming together, build a tower. Because everybody was speaking the same language, so we build the same tower. But when you are on the same page, right, the enemy comes in and disrupts your language and causes you to go in every direction, uh, doing every uh, uh, kind of thing. First of all, my question is this. Why are 12 of you on a boat? Together. Y'all know y'all ain't even like each other. All y'all shouldn't be on a boat. You put one mathematician, one zealot, and one fisherman on each boat. <laughs> I don't need all y'all. Because if he says get in the boat and then go to the other side, isn't the other side still the same other side if we're riding in other in different boats? Sometimes, sometimes separation is good. Because sometimes in the separating, going to the same place but separating, right, we cut down confusion, right? Because we keep down from dealing with everybody's opinion, right? If I patient the church, an invitation, shut up, a criticism, you got too many opinions going on, right? It's no longer the household of faith, it's the household of opinion. And the funny thing is, they never made it. To, John talks about them going to the other side, but they never made it to the other side until Jesus got in the boat. I don't understand all these meetings. The people having meetings and and and, and, and book worshipings and and you know the different things we have in the church and axe stones. I would throw an axe at somebody right now, but I I, I don't understand it because <laughs> we do it without Jesus and we expect it to be prosperous. Nothing you do for Christ without Christ, I'm sorry, will last. If you do it without Jesus, your boat is going to sink. Or worse than that, I'm about, I would have been wishing for death, but most of them, <laughs> because I like a whole bunch of talking. I don't like a whole bunch of, I, I talk a lot, but I don't like a whole bunch of buzz, 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 word, 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 mouth, 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 talk. I don't like that. That just wouldn't be, ah, I'm going to kill myself. That just, it would have been too much for my ears. <laughs> I, I, that's, 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 um, I don't, I don't, I like to keep my ears covered for that reason. I, I have the headphones on. Until I go to church, I have headphones on all week. Headphones, big noise cancel headphones. Sometimes I just turn the TV up loud enough, like last night. Turn the TV up loud enough so I can hear the TV over the headphones. Because I don't just, uh, I don't want, I don't like that. I don't know what you're saying. And the thing is, you could even be saying the right thing for the wrong reason. And your spirit of doubt. Saying the right thing for the wrong reason is worse than saying the wrong thing. You're, you're talking, but nobody's uh, listening. Does that help? You're opening, but no one's uh, closing. You are, what? Come on. Looking up when everybody else is looking down. What are we doing? At this point, Peter's speaking, providing an opposition, help the situation, right? Because he added something different that they needed. The church came in, right? This is why Peter got separated and was called out to be the church. I believe, right? Because they were all in the boat. They were all supposed to be the church. You're supposed to have all these people involved in the church. But one man, one thing, I cut that out. That's why it takes me going down from my, all these things to one thing to get what I really need. I gotta cut out the confusion of opinion because opinions never get us anywhere. There was 12 disciples in a boat. 
four fishermen and eight people. Why couldn't they get that little tiny boat that they were sharing? It wasn't no yacht. Little yachty didn't come up in there. And, and I put them in a yacht that wasn't like that. They had a yacht party, right? And they were in a boat, tiny little boat. Why can't you get to the other side of the show? Not the shore, the show. Because half the people are working it, half the people are performing in it, and half the people are just sitting back enjoying the show. Sometimes I, I like to see it, not me, I'm, I'm giving you a facetious statement, but sometimes I like to see it when people argue, when people are fighting. I don't want an amendment. I want to tell you one thing and tell you something else because I want to create dissension, right? Because my, my, my spirituality smells like onion. And all you give is a, all you guys is an opinion. And so that is where denominations, demons in the nation, we talked about it, denom in the nation. I'm not dyslexic, D-E-N-O-M, I understand that, but I like to switch stuff sometimes. Denominations splits, demons in the nations. When you see people telling a one story of to one person and I mean that person came in my face pointed at me in my face looked down on me and whispered it and said I will you will not do this because I'm mocking that person and I'm not exaggerating there should be some sort of conviction if your pastors come to and pastor David come at me I'm running because I know all, all it takes is all, he does not look at me all it takes one look and I'm falling apart I can't hide nothing I'll stand up in front of Sunday and he's talking, he asks me these questions. I was like, shut up, heart. It just kept talking. <laughs> it went up. He was asking questions and my heart was answering and my, my lips were coming alive. I the abundance of the heart that mouth speak. I know that man has discernment. And I come out when I'm like, what is inside of me, the truth comes out of me when I talk to that man. But if you can say one thing at one moment to one person and another totally different thing to, and a lie about it to, to another group of people I have a mm 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 mm, -mm that is the cinchon of onions of opinions and that's why the church ain't going nowhere yon <laughs> cause you got bunions no you got bunions in your mouth I'm just being honest you got bunions in your mouth you got toes you got, you got feet in your mouth you are all out of order you are out, out of order sweetie you are out of order Where you, what you should be walking on you are uh, speaking through that's why when you speak to your mountains, they are not removed. I find the people that have controlling spirits, right? Not, it's not that they're trying to control everybody else. They're trying to keep, they can't control their lives. So they're trying to keep everything around them and under their thumb, under their control. You are going to open this door for me. Okay? Onions! <laughs> you know, just how to play it. Cutting onions. You try to cut your onions up. Oh, try to cut your onions up. Oh, I'm crying. I'm crying. Jesus, don't play that. Remember, homie? <laughs> homie, don't play that. <laughs> Jesus, don't play that. Because Jesus sees. He is the son. I've been in some churches where I would rather kill myself and die. I'd rather drown. I'd rather boat go down than to be on the boat for you. I don't like dissension. I don't. I believe if God is in order and God comes on the boat, then everything falls in line with the Savior. There's no dissension. And if there's any on y'all of opinion, then he comes in and straight all that out with conviction. There ain't no condemnation. Because condemnation is also a manipulation tactic. Isn't it? Switching. Y'all know how to do that, right? Y'all know how to do that. We've had bonyons, but they won't have seeds. I don't think she knew that she had bonyons in her mouth, too. Now it came to pass in the days when the judges ruled that there was a famine in the land and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab, he and his wife and two sons. Now we talked about this. I got issue with him. I got issues. I think it's Elimelech. Is that his name? Elimelech? I'm not sure. The main problem that I have
is your other side. What does your other side look like? I think I'm going to eliminate, right? Let me, let me go down a little, let me go down a little bit. Eliminate, okay, good. What, 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 what your other side look like, eliminate? What would it look like? You notice the S, if I had S or anybody name, that means I'm just like, I'm about to be disrespectful. I am, I'm just being honest. I'm not being disrespectful about the story. I'm not being disrespectful, disrespectful to him. He's gone, right? But the Bible says, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, Bethlehem, Judah, Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma, house of bread, comma, praise, comma. I'm not making it up. That's what that means. Bethlehem is house of praise. Hmm? Something was in Elimelech's eye. Ugh, I got something in my eye. I, I have big eyes, so if I get eyelash in my eye, it hurts so bad. So it's hard for me to even do mascara. I have to, like, gingerly. I have to gingerly. Very gingerly. Because my eyeballs. And now since they had to take them out, I'm afraid that anything touch them. Oh my Lord! How many too close? Jamie, I'm standing five feet away from you. Yes, but you want to touch my eyeball. I see it. You want to touch my eyeball. <laughs> I feel like any that comes like within inches of my eyeball, they're gonna smack my eyeball. They're, they're gonna, somebody walk up on you, talking to you, and they're real kind. They're gonna just smack your eyeball. They're gonna haul off and just smack your eyeball for no reason. I'm end up in surgery again. You can do anything, Harmony. You can smack my eyeball. I don't know. I, I can't do it. I can't. I can't handle it. So, so, so I, I, can't, I do have trouble, right? If now I'm, I'm hot, right? So my heart is acting funny. So my eyes keep shaking. My eyes still shake in the socket. They, it's not shake like you would imagine shake. It's a shake like move back and forth real fast. It's like a twitch, a really fast twitch. And it's really, um, uh, it was annoying. Now I, just, I just decided to get over it. Seriously, come on. I'm a, I got art to do. I got poetry sometimes. I like poetry. I mean, come on. I got blogs. I, can't, I don't have time for this. I don't have time for ailments. My shoulder, I really do think that the, the, the muscle was perfect. It's like I think you pulled your muscle. Because it's not dislocated, thank God, right? But it's not dislocated. We did the x-rays. It's not broken. So that's a, that's a, that's a thankful thing, Jamie. I was like, yeah, because we had to put the hip back in the socket last year. In Christina's house. I did her bathroom. Whatever. I'm not going to go to a doctor for that. Doctors got other things to do. <laughs> so I thought we had to put it back in the socket, but nobody would help me. And Pastor Tim was like, uh, no. So I was like, and Jess was like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so I was like, okay, Jess. So I'm going to remember this, Jess. When your armpit is out the socket, I don't know. When would your armpit ever be out of socket? I don't know. So anyway. And I, I, I have issues because it's sin, right? And I go to church, right? And then sometimes the lights, they keep the lights off, I guess, for other people's comfort. But I, I'm already close. But I lean forward and scrap real hard. Because if I, my eyes are working overtime to see who's in front of me. My eyes, I think about a couple of sermons, a uh, couple Sundays ago, my eyes shook the entire time Pastor David was preaching. They were just twitching. Because I was putting more effort into, into seeing. I was putting more force on them than I'm supposed to. But my other ex don't got this problem. He don't. And the problem was eyeballs. He was living in Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. And a lot of us are living in Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. And we don't realize it. Is my fridge stocked full like I want it to be all the time? No, because when, when we buy food, I eat it. And we just bought food last Friday. So I got what I need. I got enough. I eat my popsicles at night. While I'm watching my pastor's video. That's what I do. I got food during the day. I got a smoothie in there. Brussels sprout, sprout smoothie. Strawberry Brussels sprout. Tasty yummy. I know. But I'm okay. Whether I realize it or not, I'm living in Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. <laughs> I like where I stay in Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. And you should like where you stay in Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. We are calling where you stay in Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. If it's not Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma, then we are calling it things, these things that be not as though they were. So I'm calling where you live, Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. Because it, 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 we can change the look of where you stay. Change it in your mind, right? You are calling it Bethlehem, Judah, comma, Judah, comma, but you could call it really whatever you want. So I'm touching and agreeing with you. I'm Matthew 18, 20 in with you and calling where you stay, where you live, Bethlehem, comma, Judah, comma. It would be crazy, but, but God can change the look of it. I love the inside of my house on, on Jonathan Street. I just didn't like the outside of it. It was Bethlehem, comma, Judah. 
comma. We talked about changing your comma. What is, what, what's beautiful about a comma is a comma is not a stop, it's a pause. 